obviously forgetfulness is not grace <laughs> only remembrance is grace because that is what takes me in the correct direction forgetfulness takes me in the wrong direction yeah and forgetfulness is nothing else but the manifestation of my own desires because of my own sankalpa that universe outside manifested <laughs> i myself do it that is what he is telling you it is the self itself that is reminding itself there are no others there is no universe this is where we are going we are going to this highest knowledge of advaita there is no water out there when you see the mirage you see water in the desert no there is no water there are no images yeah there are no others this is where we are headed to some of us will take a little bit of unconditioning deconditioning needs to happen and we'll get there yeah give it some time give it some time and continuous effort is required the only effort is establishing in the pure witness wherever i am at home with kids at uh, school or at work with colleagues outside in my social circle constantly in the witness it's okay i will slip i will shuttle again i come back i will slip again i come back that's fine i stay there i always keep that remembrance of the pure witness yeah and we'll get to this final stage of there is no water there is no snake <laughs> there are no images yeah there are no others there is only i it's one universal big field of i and then there are just manifestation of bubbles 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 in this field everybody creates one story and then lives in that story you think that this is real but recognize you are the brahman you are the creator of yourself and the universe you create the mind you create the body and you create this universe and it's only a projection every night this external bubble of the universe breaks then the body is gone and then the mind is gone i am in pure witness again next morning the bubble comes up it will keep continuing this is called that cycle of birth and death this will keep continuing this bubble creation will keep continuing till the time you don't realize that you are not the body you are not the mind the day you recognize i am the witness done the bubble will still get created till this body dies because of the seeds of karma but now the bubble looks very very clearly the dreamy bubble there is no more getting lost in the story now there is complete clarity so there is no suffering ramana maharshi is telling you the only enlightened master from the previous century who is world renowned today yeah he didn't start an ashram people found out about him and came to him yeah so there must be some truth to it recognize look within you become very humble you become very humble the moment you recognize that the others do not exist only there is only this whole creation created out of my simple sankalpa and this is brahman 
you drop that ego in fact nothingness nobodyness there is nobody there is no one i does not exist when there is no i where is the question of becoming insensitive to another when there is no i where is the question of the ego becoming big not possible you will become the most humble most compassionate person who doesn't even care for any praise or criticism yeah you will become like water that flows down into the lowest pot pothole on the road you don't mind being water on and on the pothole in the pothole on the road yeah who can push you down beyond that that kind of humility and that kind of compassion for everybody comes up because now there is no purpose in life to really crave for myself the selfishness drops the selflessness begins here yeah so don't get into the story of the mind just another spiritual story um ramakrishna was asked why do you still meditate you are enlightened you have reached there why do you need to meditate yeah so he said that i am meditation itself i am not meditating there is no activity i am meditation itself and he loved to go into his samadhi despite being an advaita vedantin completely in gyan yoga he said samadhi na hole thik thik hoy na until you experience the complete cessation of the mind in samadhi until then the complete conviction does not happen yeah but there are some people who have got there without that also whatever is your need your universe will definitely be created that way according to your need the creative function the god in you will manifest it in front of you got it so you will not stop meditating you will not stop doing your bhakti or gyana or whatever you were doing yeah so rest assured yeah finally everything is the same everything meets at the peak at the top yeah everything is the same finally i just don't see it because i am walking from one side of the mountain i'm walking up but when i get to the peak i will notice oh everything all roads lead home wrong to self means simply not listening when he said that you do wrong to your guru means your inner intuition comes up with one advice for you do this and you don't do this but your ego says no 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 i am not going to do this i want the opposite so then you have done wrong to your inner guru you have done wrong to your inner self yeah that's what is the meaning so always listen to your own intuition that is always right that is always leading you in the correct direction intuition is equal to inner voice is equal to your gut feeling is equal to i don't know god's voice or the first thought that comes every time there is a new situation there is a first thought that comes and then many many more thoughts come up the first thought is always god's thought yeah the first thought is always god's voice telling you something listen to that
So I'll leave you with a story today. The story is of the princess of Kashi and I heard it from Osho long, long ago. But lots of students also read and study the story in school. And recently, I think Swami Sarva Priyananda also has talked about it on YouTube. So, Princess of Kashi. There was a, uh, a play that was going to be staged in the king's court, in the king's palace. And they wanted one person, specifically they were looking for somebody to play the role of Princess of Kashi. And they could not find an appropriate person. The prince at that time, the king's son, the prince was five years old. And they said, this will be the perfect princess of Kashi. Yeah? He's very beautiful. Yeah? Young kids are really pretty. So they dressed him up and you can see the picture. Yeah? Made him look very, very pretty and very, very, very cute. And the play was staged. The queen was so happy with her son's performance and looks. She said that make a painting. Yeah, and the title of the painting should be Princess of Kashi and put the date and year. So this painting was made. Now, 15 years pass. Yeah, this young little prince who played the Princess of Kashi, he was not a girl, huh? the, the boy. He now grows up, he's 20 years old and now he becomes the new ruler, the king, and now he wants to go and tour the whole palace, tour the whole kingdom. So he happens to go down to one of his basements. And there he sees this old painting and he sees this beautiful girl and he says, wow, this girl looks so beautiful. And there he sees Princess of Kashi and the date. And he says, oh, she looks about five years old and at this time, on this date, even I was five years old. Oh, she must be my age today. I want to get married to this princess of Kashi now. So now he's fully like, like a lover, totally pining for princess of Kashi. And then he doesn't, he's very shy to tell his parents. But the minister figures it out and he asks, what is it? Why are you so lost and... Not normal. What's what's up? So he says, you know what? I have fallen in love. So he's minister's excited. Oh wow, very nice. Who is she? Oh, I I don't really know much, but she's the princess of Kashi. So he said, oh great, the princess of Kashi. Okay, great. Um, have you seen her? Have you met her? He says, no, I have only seen her picture. Oh. Okay, and you're in love with her picture. He says, yes. So he says, where, where is this picture? Can you show it to me? So he says, yeah, yeah, down in the basement. So he takes the minister down with him. Okay, this is an elderly minister. And then he goes to the basement and he does the picture and he shows it to him and he says, see, this is the girl I want to marry. The minister immediately recognizes the painting and he says, please sit down, my dear prince. Please sit down. When you were five years old, we had staged a play and we didn't have the perfect person to play the role of Princess of Kashi and we dressed you up as a girl. You are the Princess of Kashi. Immediately that desire, that lust, that want fizzled out. The Sankalpa died. The moment you recognize that I only have created this story, I have only manufactured and projected this universe, there is nobody other than I, the universe disappears. There is no more the desire to marry the princess of Kashi because he realized that there is no other, it is I. You are Brahman. 
you are the creator whatever you imagine manifests in your life if you imagine that the movement of a particular planet is going to affect me it will affect you if you don't even entertain a thought about it even after reading it listening to it watching some astrologer on tv you don't give it a second thought it doesn't touch you you manifest your universe out of your own beliefs and ideas you create your own bubble wake up and see this truth you are in a bubble and you are carrying your universe in your own bubble of experience the moment you close your eyes this universe vanishes the moment you open your eyes the universe appears there is no outside of this bubble of experience your experience manifests purely from your own imaginations your own thoughts yeah the mandukya upanishad says everything is sankalpayati everything has been created out of only your likes and dislikes it manifests out thoughts ideas experiences which are all happening in the awareness seem to be happening outside and they seem to manifest the world outside there is nothing outside your own witnessing field you never experience anything outside your witnessing field the outside is mithya the outside is an illusion न था कुछ तो खुदा था कुछ ना होता तो खुदा होता डुबोया मुझको होने ने न होता मैं तो क्या होता वेन देर वॉज नथिंग देर वॉज गॉड इफ देर वर नथिंग नाउ देर वुड बी गॉड आई ड्राउंड बिकॉज ऑफ माई थर्स्ट टू बी if i want then what would it be like what would it be like na hota mai to kya hota i leave you with this beautiful thought and i will see you again in the next session until then keep being not doing just be see you very soon